You know, my friends, the first time I saw Galarian Rapidash, I remember thinking, why is that cotton candy glaring at me? Yeah, that, that, that was my first impression of the glorious Galarian Rapidash, which today we have in our Labarkatory stable to go ahead and see what kind of glorious mixed and matched curious creatures we are going to create with Leaf, the very sparkly, actually. <laughs> I am noticing that my extra sparkles on the unicorn mods, um, I mean, they're stepping up to the plate. And I don't really have a problem with that. Uh, but we have our glorious Galarian Rapidash Leaf, who has actually come on in from one of you guys from Sienna88. Sienna, thank you so much for your beautiful creation of this absolutely stunning creature, because I have a feeling that everyone is going to be absolutely enthralled with the cotton candy colors that we might end up with on our little foals today. So thank you very much for uh, providing that and also for reminding me. I do not yet have a Galarian Rapidash, I don't think. Pretty sure. 99% sure. Like I said, last time I saw one I was concerned about why is the cotton candy glaring at me, but I'm beginning to think with all of the fun Pokemon things we've been doing and with all of the rumors of fantastic new places coming up later this year for us to explore in the Pokemon world, well, it might be time to go ahead and return to my tenure in uh, Pokemon Violet. Just saying. <laughs> but we'll have to think about all of those things later because right now, my friends, it's time to go ahead and snap on your safety goggles and break out those boots because we're also going to be working with this beautiful American Quarter Horse. So it says here, if I'm just reading the label. Hands up, I'm still... I have nothing to do with the naming of the color patternations and, and anything of the breeds or the styles. I'm just reading what's on the label. <laughs> but we have Kylia, Kylia, the American Quarter Horse. Really, really beautiful. I love the little stripes and the spots. I love the way that we've got one orange ear and one white ear. I didn't know I was gonna like that so much, but I do. And that is actually another one of your guys' creations. This time from the Zalif Codex. And now I can pop in here and be like, beautiful! Thank you so much! Whee! All right, there we go. Good. It, it, it's good to be kind. Ooh, also red pandas. I'll have to remember that. <laughs> But all right, guys, so I'm really excited about this today because, of course, working with the wonderful Cotton Candy Galarian Rapidash means that we're going to have the possibility of some beautiful pink and blue foals, which is enough to be quite exciting. But also, like, look at the super long tail and the super long mane and the four, like, locks and also the horn. <laughs> that our little foals might end up inheriting. So as usual, I have no idea what these little ones might look like, and it looks like even Leaf is a little bit uh, uncertain, but that's the fun of going ahead and creating these crossbreeds. So without further ado, let's go ahead and break out those Petri dishes, and we're going to be putting in Leaf's jeans. <laughs> Okay, I forget how cute the foals are every time, even though we do need to give them a good back massage. And by the way, if you too have the camel mod installed, Kalino has indeed updated it so that it will not do this to the foals anymore. But I haven't put that fix in yet because I think it's funny. <laughs> I actually like leaving it in, so that's why I haven't gone ahead and uh, fixed it. We're still gonna give our foals a couple more massages before I go ahead and decide, all right, all right, all right. And we put the fix in so that that will no longer happen to your um, to your, your little itty bitty equines. Also, Leaf, you suggest a koala and a wallaby crossbreed, and I have to say, that sounds absolutely fantastic. And now, oh my gosh, I mean, come on, look at the little camel up. I think that's so funny. Oh my gosh, but now we're going to randomize two and three times and we're actually going, wow, look at the color of the hooves, holy moly. We're actually going to have a brand new little girl, a little filly, who is going to be named Ty Trouble. Oh my gosh, that's really cute. Ty Trouble, welcome, welcome. You are going to be a free spirit who is needy and friendly and let's give you your little massage so that you no longer have those kinks in your back. It's just funny to me still, guys. One day, one day we will change that. And now let's go ahead and see what kind of wonderful colors that you have actually inherited from... Ooh, we're actually working with the Galarian jeans first. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so with orange and yellow hooves, which I guess I'll leave because why not? Oh my goodness. And you got pink on the next color too. <gasps> Look at that. 
This might be a little bit of a clash of colors, but at the same time, I think that this is kind of amazing. Uh, let's see. So, oh, and then you have this brown, but it doesn't really show up very much. Followed by, let's see. Um, wait, okay, it's gonna be this color right here. Oh boy, you look like somebody just was like blowing a big giant bubblegum bubble and it just popped like and just went absolutely chaotic all over your face. Uh, and then you're gonna have this little color as your last color. Okay, that's actually like freaking hilariously adorable. <laughs> You really, really, really look like something awful has happened to you with the bubblegum factory. But that's kind of adorable. So there we go, little one. So you stay here. When you grow up, we'll roll the dice of destiny and see whether or not you inherit one of these horns. And next up, even more unexpected little full foolishness, which is what I'm going to start calling all of this. And we're going to go ahead and have a little boy this time. So let me pull up those little colts. And then we're going to randomize one. Two and three. Oh, hey, we ended up with another one that has kind of the Galarian, uh, just like white body so far. And this is also going to go ahead and this is going to be Garen after Brittany Garen. And holy moly, you guys are really big on the Peritons. I still need to look up the Periton. I'm, I'm okay. It has a box around it. It has a star with a circle around it on my little notes. So I'm sure that's good. That's gonna stand out from all the other boxes and stars that I've put next to your guys' amazing ideas uh, to try to encourage me to get those done, sure. But a fanged deer and a pegasus and then cross that with a unicorn because we can, that's hilarious. I actually wonder if we'll be able to go ahead and convince Kalino to create some things for our horses. Uh, but to be completely honest, I'm holding out for Kelpie Tells, just, just, just so you guys know, because I think that would be kind of amazing. Uh, and then let's see, fanged deer and pegasus. I could probably do at least a deer and a pegasus and then pff, like yeah like add in the unicorn just because we can i agree with you unicorn just because we can is going to be like the name of i don't know my new like activist group or something uh and garen you're going to be an independent free spirit who is quite brave and let's see what kind of colors you're going to pull up Ooh, and so you're actually gonna have this color right here oh i love that purple that's so cool and then you are going to have let's see uh actually this red color again from your other parent followed by some nice light pink oh my gosh uh followed by blue oh i always get so excited so it's the darker blue oh my gosh garen and then you have pink again <laughs> oh wow you know what? We are getting bubblegum factory babies. Oh, and you have two different colored eyes and look at your little asymmetrical hooves. <laughs> okay, I have a feeling these guys are all going to turn out a lot cuter than I was expecting. But that's what you expect with the full foolishness, isn't it? All right, let's go ahead and pull up the next name from our random comment generator. Oh my goodness, look at that happy little fool. And this time around, we're going to have another filly. We're gonna randomize one and two. Oh, look at you, little one. Oh, we have the two colored eyes again. All right, let me go ahead and work out the kinks. Okay, maybe having the camel body on every single full will get old eventually, but right now it's hilarious. And Eternal Summer 14. Let me make sure I don't miss any of your suggestions on names. Yep. So this is going to be Eternal Summer. Welcome. You are going to be a friendly free spirit who's quite defiant, and you suggest everything from direwolves, dire saber-toothed tigers, jackalopes, and okapi crossed with the hippogriff, and okapi giraffe, okapi deer, and okapi appaloosa. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. I wonder what would happen if you crossed a saber-toothed tiger and a hippogriff. These- Oh, look at the two colored eyes! Oh, I love how that's a trait that like all of them are getting. These are the kinds of questions like we get to ask here and I find them to be extremely exciting. Also, <laughs> we're back into the bubblegum factory. I told you guys, I knew this was going to happen. Ooh, and we have the light blue. I knew this was going to happen because that's what you get when you stare at a bunch of cotton candy, right? Uh, and then we're going to have this brown again. I kind of think that's adorable that that one keeps getting inherited, like it's little freckles or something. <gasps> wow. Oh my goodness! Bumblegum Factory babies! All the way down! <laughs> oh wow, welcome Eternal Summer, welcome. Okay, and our next foolish little foal is going to be... Dun, 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 dun. 
Okay, let me see. I have to roll. It's going to be a girl. We're going to roll a few times. So a little filly. Two, three, four, and five. Oh, we finally got one with a different patterning. Oh, that's so exciting. And then we're going to, okay, look, maybe I'll take out the camel body thing and I'll put in the fix just because maybe Brianna here after Brianna Lloyd didn't appreciate having such a kink in their back as soon as they were born. But still, you're going to be a free spirit who is brave and aggressive, Brianna. And you suggest elemental horses from mythology. They have, they all have the hashtag. Thank you very very much for creating those. I am going through and trying to download as many of your guys' horses with the Siri horse hashtag as possible. I am going to need to have a lot more Labarkatory adventures to catch up with even a fraction of you. So I hope all of you will understand I'm doing my best, but I mean, look at all these little ones. So many adventures, so little time. Ah, oh, Brianna, you have two bright, beautiful blue eyes that I would really love to see. Okay, so you're not gonna inherit the beautiful blue eyes <laughs> right away. Uh, but you actually do have that brown color. Like you just straight up have the one you're supposed to. And then you're going to have, okay, you also have that color. That's really funny. You got the two colors you were supposed to have. And then you're going to have white here. <gasps> Look at those little spots and dots. Uh, ironically, you're gonna have white again. <laughs> you really didn't want anything to do with the bubblegum factory, did you? But too bad, you still ended up with a little bit of blue. Oh, but it's just down by your feet. <laughs> That's actually a much fun, a much more fun mix than I was expecting with just a little bit of blue on almost like a sandy color. I could see kind of like an ocean vibe here. I, I, I could get behind that. All right, all right. Let me pull up the next comment from our random comment generator. And dun dun dun. Let me see. We're gonna have another filly. I like to roll to see the gender and like how many times we roll the randomizer now, just because I think it's a good mix. And oh, yes, we ended up with this pattern again. We can see even more variety. All right, let's work out the kinks. We have two colors on the eyes of little powder here. And powder, you suggest donkey and dragon like from Shrek. Fun fact, we have that in our playlist archive for the Labarkatory. Highly recommend checking that out, but I really should do it again now that we have this whole new way of doing our jeans. And Powder, you are going to be an independent, mellow, free spirit. Oh, so <laughs> the fulls still melt me because they're so freaking adorable. And now we're gonna see, so you're gonna have this color for brown, uh, and then you're going to have, let's see, da 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 da. Uh, you're actually gonna have this color. Ooh, that's really pretty. For your next color, oh my gosh. <laughs> Look, we're getting back into the walked into a bubblegum factory and had a bad time sort of mix. Uh, let's see. All right, and then that light sandy color. Look at that knee. I never thought I would be so excited about one foal's knee, but here we are. It's adorable. And actually you have the white color you're supposed to for the last color pattern. This is so cute. Again, it looks like somebody, like a whole group of, of perhaps school children chewing bubble gum came into our stable and we just had some unfortunate reactions with some of that. Oh dear. All right, and then our very last of our random laboratory. Ah, I need to, oh, okay. Oh, get the right Petri dish, Siri, oh my gosh. And there. <laughs> But the very last of our little frantic foals for the day. Actually, another filly, which really cracks me up. And we're going to roll twice. Oh, hello, little one. Let's go ahead and work out the kinks in your back. And we are going to welcome in Seikan. Seikan, welcome. And the idea of doing a polar bear and a goat. See, you're really thinking about the approaching, uh, well, winter that's actually really far away as I listen to the cicadas drone outside my window right now, but still. <laughs> and Seiken, you are going to be a fearful, friendly, defiant little one. So you may be afraid, but you're fearful and you're gonna, you're gonna make sure that people can't drag you into dangerous situations, if you ask me. And then let's go ahead and see what your jeans are going to be. Ooh, the blue! You know, I don't know why, but I'm just really into blue horses lately which is literally not anything I have ever in my entire life been into, so who knows where that came from. Uh, ooh! And then we've got the light purple, followed by the white color right here. And then finally, we have got 
<laughs> the purple again. Just as a little bit as a treat on the feetsies. <laughs> All right, so there you go, Seikan. You know, I actually keep thinking about the beach. That's what a lot of these little foals with the mix of the blues and the tans are making me think about. But let's go ahead and see what they look like all grown up and who is going to inherit that wonderful unicorn horde. Tire, Ty Terrible, you're up first. Hello, my dear! Your tail is gone! I don't know what to tell you about that. It, I mean, sometimes it happens. <laughs> Your tail is gone, and you have a very cute little braid, uh, and you did actually inherit the unicorn horn. And I love your forelock. That's so much fun. Uh, you know what? I'll leave it with that horn. That actually is a good match. Huh. I feel like somebody... Okay, you know what I think? This is... You know when you get bubblegum stuck in your hair, and you have to cut your hair out? That's what happened to Ty Terrible's tail. Bubblegum. Bubblegum from the bubblegum factory disaster. <laughs> Sorry, Ty. We'll, we'll try not to have uh, any more bubblegum incidences with you in the future. And then we have Garen, who also did have some of their tail trimmed off, it seems. <laughs> Alright, note to self, uh, our horses do not belong in bubblegum factories. And Garen, you did not inherit the horn, but you did inherit some absolutely stunning and very interesting mixes on your looks. Oh, that's so pretty. In a very unique way. That again, bubblegum factory. Eternal Summer, you're up next. Oh dear. Okay, I don't know if like there's just something going on where all of our horses are going to inherit that tail, but the fact that so many of them have just continues to reinforce that uh, running joke about the bubblegum factory. And also, you, Eternal Summer, did end up inheriting one of the horns. Congratulations! Maybe you can use it to try to like pry the bubblegum out of everybody's fur, it seems. Brianna, you're up next. Okay, donkey tail. I'm going to have to assume we had to shave the top of the tail on you. This is really funny. I wasn't expecting so many short tails. Sometimes I might change it. Right now, nah, it seems to fit, it seems to fit. And Brianna, you also have ended up inheriting the horn. So give me just a second and we'll find you a good one. Uh, not those horns, my dear. Oh, well, actually, I forgot how if they get on there, then they're there. You know what, Brianna? There you go. Take it. You've got, you've got, like, a rainbow horn. I am sad about the top of your tail, so you can keep the extra horns as well. Why not? Our genes are just a little bit random like that from time to time. Powder, you're up next. Powder, I think you're one of the few to have made it out without getting your tail completely <laughs> trimmed. But it's still small. It's so funny. Yep, just rolling with it. That's what happens when you uh, have horses just frolic around in a bubblegum factory. All right, Powder, you're really pretty. I like how, because your eyes are different colors, it feels like we almost have a different side of your personality on each side, because your coloration is also lighter here. And then you've got your tiger stripes on this side. Aww. And then Seikan, you are the last of our little ones. Look, you actually really look like a mishmash. Like somebody started to take watercolor paint to you and then just kind of stopped. All right, and how's your tail? Thin, but it could be worse. <laughs> oh, and there you go, Seikan. So you did not inherit the horn either. You know, this ended up a little bit more chaotic than I was expecting. I, I don't know what I expected, throwing pink and purple and blue jeans at our horses, but that's what we got. And I actually do love how a lot of them are making me think about like going to the beach because you've got this nice tan sandy color, a little bit of turquoise waters. Doesn't that just sound delightful right now? Or maybe I'm just in the mood to go for a good swim. But in any case, my friends, thank you so much for joining us on our adventure today. If you guys could, do please leave a like down below to go ahead and help me feed all of these wonderful mm -hmm, mixes. Hmm. Hmm. What would you eat? What would they eat? What does a rapidash eat? Do they actually eat cotton candy? A Galarian Rapidash? I've got to think about this. All right, there's some science to be done. But all right, friends, thank you so much for joining me. And I hope that you will enjoy all of our adventures coming up quite soon. Uh, but until next time, stay curious. Bye-bye.